Hello everyone, this is Miss Ellington. I hope you guys are doing well. So this week we are starting a brand new lesson. We spent February um, learning about some jazz artists, um, uh, kind of relating it to Black History Month. So we learned about four amazing jazz artists in the month of February. Now with March, we are starting off March learning about Broadway. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have heard of Broadway. I'm sure some of you have and some of you have not. Um, Broadway is similar to what we might go see in Durham at the DPAC. Um, there's some plays, musicals, different things like that. Broadway is closely related to that. I don't know if you've maybe seen something there in Durham before, or maybe you've been to New York City and you've seen a Broadway musical. I'm not sure. Either way, Broadway is such a fun thing to talk about. So we are going to spend some time this week talking about Broadway. Now, normally what, what we do is I'll have you guys watch your video before you guys come back into the lesson. You're going to watch your video after you finish this lesson video with me. We're going to talk about our learning purpose, some vocabulary terms, and then you're going to watch a video and I'll get into some more detail about that close to the end of this video, this lesson video, um, and then you'll have a quick assignment to do. So let me share my screen. So we are going to look at some different things with Broadway. So Broadway is our main topic. I really hope some of you have heard about this. Some of the younger ones may have not before, but Broadway is so much fun. So our learning purpose for this lesson, I can explain important key terms that are involved with Broadway, and I can give key details about Broadway. So we're going to break it down, talk about several different things. We are not going to be able to do an anticipatory set in this. You'll watch it in just a few minutes. Some vocabulary terms that we're going to talk about. Let me see if I can move my face. There we go. So one vocabulary term, the first one we're going to talk about is marquee. Okay, marquee is uh, lights or a sign over the entrance of a show. So this picture is just an example of what a marquee might look like um, for a Broadway show. I'm sure you've seen it if you have gone to um, like an old, old timey, um, goodness gracious, movie theater before. There are some of those uh, where it's kind of in the front before you walk in. That's what a marquee is. Let's see. Well, I'm not sure why it's not letting me do anything. Okay, the house. So the house of a Broadway musical. I've put some pictures uh, just to kind of give you some reference. Each Broadway musical does not look like this. Okay, uh, so just so you know, not every single Broadway musical is going to have the exact same seating or the exact same entrance or anything like that. They're all different. So the house is the auditorium, the box office, and the lobby, which is pretty much everything together. Where you sit, where you may go get your concessions, like your snacks, and then the box office is where you actually get your tickets. Okay, so that is the house. This is a key term that I want us to remember um, with Broadway. This is called an understudy. Now we have talked about this a little bit with some grades where we uh, like Bailey Singers and last year we talked about this for third grade. If somebody has a solo, we have somebody that's a backup. So an understudy, this is a person that fills in for the main role character uh, if they are sick. Now, if you can see in this uh, picture right here, um, this is the main character for the Hamilton Broadway show. The guy on the left, he is the main character, but the guy on the right is his understudy. So they kind of look similar. They do this because um, it helps with the role. But the understudy is there for all the practices, all the practice performances, even during the performance in case something were to happen, uh, if there would be an injury that took place or maybe the the actor got sick and the understudy had to fill in during the, the actual play. That has happened before. So an understudy is just somebody that fills in for the main character. 
Now, I just want you to take a look third through fifth grade. What you're going to be looking for after this kindergarten and second grade, your assignment for um, kindergarten through second, your assignment for this week is a little bit fun. I would like to do it. So your assignment, if you are in kindergarten, first and second grade, I want you to think about your favorite movie. Okay, let's go back really quick. Think about your favorite movie. Okay, this is about Aladdin. So I want you to think of the, the movie that you love the most. And I want you to draw a marquee for it. Okay, so remember a marquee is the sign that would be in front of the building that the Broadway musical would be at. So I want you to take your favorite movie. So let's see, one of my favorite movies is Tangled. I would draw a picture of however you want to. You can have, uh, like for me, I could have Rapunzel in the picture or just the words Tangled, anything you want. But I want you to take your favorite movie and I want you to draw a picture of it and pretend that it would be the marquee or the poster that would be hanging in front, like on the, the wall outside where the Broadway musical would be. And I want you to submit those in your exit ticket. I'm also gonna put this information. Uh, once you exit this, it's gonna be on the Weebly page right underneath this video because you do need to watch the video that's going to explain Broadway. It's gonna give you a little bit of history um, and then you'll do your assignment. Now, third through fifth, you have some questions you're going to answer that go along with the video, okay? I'm going to post these questions on the website. So underneath the video that you watch, it's going to be right underneath that. So you'll just scroll down. It'll look like just a worksheet piece of paper. It'll be there for you to see, okay? There are going to be six questions, okay? They're going to look like this, but they're all going to be on one sheet, all right? So those are your assignments for this week. Make sure Okay, you're going to go to your video, you're going to scroll down underneath this lesson video right here and watch the video that goes along with this. It's going to talk to you about the history of Broadway, when it started, who started it, what happened, how it became a big thing. Okay, once you do that, make sure that you are doing your assignments, you submit them in your exit ticket so that I can see your work. I can't wait to see those who draw the posters and I can't see those of you that will be answering the questions. We do this to make sure that you've done your work for this week for specials, okay? So do that. Uh, next week, we're going to be uh, diving into a actual Broadway musical. We're going to watch a little bit of one. We're going to talk about it, kind of discuss some different important things that go along with the Broadway musical. And then um, then you'll have an assignment to do on that. So go ahead and work on your assignment now. Watch the video. Learn a little bit more about Broadway uh, because I can't put it in this video with me talking because it is not my video. It's from YouTube. So have a fantastic week and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.